morning guys. So it's currently 4 a.m. and we're on our way to the JFK airport. Um, me and the hubby are going on vacation yet again. It is another vlog video, so stay tuned. So we just picked up our rental. So now we got a map, but we're not gonna use it right now, at least until we get lost. We're gonna try and freebie it and just drive around until our check-in time is for three. So yeah, we're gonna just drive around.
Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. So it is currently 12 p.m. in Aruba here. I know we're like an hour ahead of time than the actual USA countries. So it is absolutely beautiful over here. So me and the hubby took our car to do a little driving because we're trying to find a wire from Radio Shack so we could connect the phone at our resort and be able to watch um, movies that's from the car. phone. Oh, that's funny. Um, so we're just driving around in this area that's called the high rises where we were yesterday and um, like it's very chill because a lot of people I know they're like at the water parks at the ocean the beaches the pools and stuff like that I, I am dying so I know today I'm going to get in the pool or something but we're gonna set up our excursions for the week and figure out what we're gonna do we're not gonna do something every single day because that's really draining but we're gonna set up our excursions and just really browse for the most part because it's freaking awesome here. Did you guys know that the Arubans have a mandatory learning curriculum in their school to learn four language so that way they can get a better paying job when they grow older? Everyone here is so nice, so nice, genuinely nice. And you get to have a conversation with them without not being able to understand them at all. Like they speak English fluently they speak Dutch they speak Spanish and they speak what's the other one that she said and I can't remember what she said but I'm able to talk my broken Spanish to them and they understand me perfectly and they can talk back with me which is awesome my husband and I we rented a car because we felt like it was more safer than when we went to DR um, DR they say that it's not safe at all for you to be browsing by yourself because there's a lot of crime over there and there's a possibility that you can get in a lot of trouble like um, with the bad people like you can just run into bad people but here like it's totally different the atmosphere the environment is so different and we're just out and about all day every day the only thing is there's only lights in really popular areas of the island they just rely on the sign so you have to be really careful everything is so normal here it feels like we're back at home but more luxurious I don't know but yeah so I'm gonna take you guys around so that way you can see exactly what we're doing all day um, for the most part we're just trying to find a wire and driving around which is nice and yeah so I'll see you guys soon Hey guys, so day two out to the high rises. My husband is gonna try that. Um, okay, just kill us now. Do I have my seatbelt on? Jesus! But we are out to eat over here. We saw this really good Italian restaurant yesterday that we wanna try again today. So me and my husband have the camo matching shirts on. We do have our capris on and our sneakers. So we we're really matchy matchy. I wanted to do my makeup a little more glam today because I felt like I was just looking a little too hit yesterday even though I did my makeup slightly 
I felt like I was uh, underdressed versus everyone else in the restaurant and walking around and stuff. So I did a little more today. Yeah, we're gonna vlog. Day two. So we just got back to the room and we're getting ready to lay down. My husband bought the HDMI cord that I was telling you guys earlier about. We were going around shopping a little bit. So we're gonna lay down and watch it too. So we're gonna get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's the day that we're going to set up uh, some of the excursions for the rest of the week. Yeah, so day number two. You're looking crazy. Oh, did I have a bug on me? On our way to Baby Beach now, it is currently 1.30, but it's okay because it doesn't start to get dark until like maybe 6. Everything is still so beautiful out here. There's a nice breeze, so it's not completely hot, but once we get in the car, we be like sweating bullets, especially because we drowned ourselves in sunscreen, so we get hot quick.
Hi guys, so I just got done doing my makeup. My husband is getting ready. I am drinking my wine because I want a pre-game. We're going to eat at an Italian restaurant, so I'm hype because <laughs> I need my chicken parm. How do you guys like my makeup? I am aware that my blush is on a thousand today. I didn't realize it until I looked in a different mirror in different lighting, but it's okay because it's nighttime. So anyways, it's gonna pop normally and not too excessively, so I'm happy with it. Like always, I'm gonna take you guys along with me so you guys can see the nightlife in Aruba. So we're gonna head out in five. Good morning guys we are heading out to get our massage and facial right out here at a resort we have like a little hut of a woman who performs a bunch of spa services i wouldn't be calling your name if i could hear you so annoying afterwards mother get out get out bruh okay afterwards maybe we might hit up the beach to do some water sports because they offer a bunch of like um, parasailing jet skiing scuba all that kind of jazz we do have to still pick up a couple stuff at the supermarket i swear we've been there every single day that's fine because it's like right across the street from us so it's really okay my husband is buying a gopro so we are going to film that and like what is it called babe is it first person view or we're gonna film it first person view. Jesse, I see you. Okay, I guess it's first person view. He doesn't wanna answer me, but um, it's gonna be pretty sick because it's the first time I've ever filmed with a GoPro. He's ever filmed with a GoPro. So we're gonna try and capture each moment like the most amazing way possible. So stay tuned. So we made it to the front side. I am currently two and a half cups of wine into us being here. So I am filling it. She like, failed the sobriety test. Yeah, no I did not. Of course him being a cop, he has to test me. We are chilling, we have a couple people here with us. We might, just might get into the pool. It is pretty, pretty windy for the most part. So we probably might not get into the pool, but it's beautiful out here. We're gonna jump in the pool. Ready? So we got in the big pool with the waterfall. We're gonna head to the waterfall in a second. I jumped into the pool thinking I was recording, but I wasn't. I'm going to five feet. And if you guys don't know, I am five feet. So it's getting pretty deep for me. <laughs> We're 
We're in a different hotel this morning, just grabbing something to drink and eat before we head on the bus. And we're gonna head back to our resort, which is just a couple walks away. And we're gonna wait for the bus to come and get us for the De Palm Island. To a surf shop in the Pueblo. And I bought this one piece long sleeve. Um, it's like a surfer bathing suit to protect me from the sun because I get heat rash easily. I'll show you guys more when we get to the island. Hey guys, so we just got to the island, so we are eating breakfast and then we are going to get ready to go in the ocean just for a little bit until it's time for us to start our excursion. We are doing something that's called Sea Trek. Sea Trek. We're doing something that's called Sea Trek where we put on helmets and we walk from the shore down to the bottom of the ocean. I don't know how far in the ocean we go. It's going to be the most nerve-wracking thing ever because we never did anything like that before. I hope we have a group of people that come with us because us two doing it by ourselves, I feel like we're gonna freak out. Pretty different. Um, we've seen a lot of the previews on it. It looks very, very cool. They take us to where there's like shipwrecks and stuff like that, which is awesome. And then later in the day, we are gonna do snorkeling as well too, so we're gonna make sure to vlog that too. But stay tuned uh, for the ocean view um, and the flamingos and all that jazz.
we can't go too close to them or they'll run and then we get in trouble. It already happened once today, so we know better. Now it's just us in this natural pool, I would call it, because guys can see in the back, it's kind of closed out, sort of like a moon shape, and it brings in the natural water of the ocean. It is netted, so that way the flamingos don't get out and prevent stuff from coming in. So today, we are going to the beach. We're gonna look for places to go parasailing and rent some jet skis out. So we're gonna get some good footage today of the island and stuff. Especially with the parasailing, we're gonna get to see everything. So it's gonna be beautiful, it's gonna be fun. Plus, we've never been parasailing before, or skydiving, or anything like that. So it's gonna be a really good experience for us. I don't really know if uh, wifey is, but I guess we'll find out today. Maybe I am, I got my other, um, top bathing suit to help protect from the sun. I did really good yesterday trying not to get the heat rash. I got a little bit on my thigh, but I controlled it for today and I managed to let it go down before being back out of the sun, so I'm excited. So I gotta make sure I just still protect myself on the top. Oh, there he goes. Oh my God, they're so fast. We're gonna do a couple today. We're not gonna do them all. We really don't want to get in the ocean water. We've been in the ocean water for the past few days and being in the salt water, it's really sticky and it's very uncomfortable, especially with this top that I have with long sleeve. I am so uncomfortable being wet in this as it is. Like it stiff. Rash, I know, but it helps with the heat rash, which is good. Just get a whole body suit. Um, oh no, I will die. So the way that the resort works is that you have to go through numerous resorts to get to the beach. We're really close to the beach, which is really walking distance, but we have to get through another resort and then another resort to get to the beach. Dip you in the water. <laughs> I don't want a good dip.
So for the happy hour here, they brought out two for the price of one. Hubby got the piña colada. I got the blue Hawaiian. So my aunt got sick on the parasailing and when we were up there, I'm like, how can my aunt get sick on this? It was so nice, so beautiful. Three minutes later, bam, hit me. I'm like, aw. Oh. So I had to lay back on him, close my eyes, not breathe. My husband was seeing beautiful turtles. I had to quickly open my eyes just to see him real quick because if I was to look down, it had my head spinning. It was just not pretty. We were gonna do the jet skis after the parasailing yesterday, but I just could not, I could not settle good. So yeah, we were parasailing. We went up to the high rise area and there was people all the way like back out of the ocean. We're like, how the hell do they have the guts to do that? I would be in my pants. I can't do that. Yeah, our last day to really enjoy the full day is gorgeous and it feels amazing. But I know once we get in that sun, it's gonna be blazing. So we're gonna try and not chill in the sun all day. Hey guys, so this is our last night out. I vlogged earlier of us being on the beach and stuff like that in the pool. So we're getting ready to go to, what is it called? Benihana? Benihana, yeah. Benihana. A lot of people should know what that is. Yeah. Well, I got all prettied up. My husband got all handsome out. And we're gonna drive up to the high rises one last time. We're gonna shop around and buy some really cute gifts to bring home for my stepdaughter and for my niece I already got my daughter something so we're just gonna kind of browse around a little and see what we see and just kind of spend the night relaxing I'm so tired right now as it is just being out in the Sun really kills me so we're gonna take our time and just really relax and enjoy our last night and yeah my lips are glittery can you guys see oh that means my lips are glittery now yeah they are god damn <laughs> What kind of sushi is that again? Shrimp crunchy roll. We never ate it here before, but we had hibachi. We're about two drinks in, so we're feeling really nice. And he's getting ready to prepare our food for us. So they gave us Japanese green tea to drink, and I don't know if I like it. <laughs> it tastes awful. I'll just stick to my wine. We just finished eating at Benihana, but I still wasn't 
satisfied, so my husband stopped at McDonald's. You guys can't see the back, but he stopped at McDonald's for me to pick up a couple stuff because I just still have a lot of So we're heading back to our resort now and um, just to chill for the night. 